welcome to my January grocery haul. It doesn't seem like five minutes since I was doing the Christmas haul and I think it has only been a week or so. But this is everything that I've got in for January. I'm going to start with the freezer stuff so I can pop it away. I've got some edamame. And this free range chicken was actually a substitution. It seems like there's a few substitutions but they're nothing totally crazy. So they've swapped an organic chicken for a free range one. I got these prawns, these are for New Year and I'm gonna do um, a bit like a savoury cheesecake. So it's gonna be the prawns, what else? Soft cheese and watercress and then some of the salmon which I bought in the last haul. The other bits to be refrigerated are the Year Valley whole milk. I really enjoyed that last time. I do prefer whole milk to semi-skim so I bought that for myself. Two of these buffalo mozzarellas. And this tiny pot of Greek yogurt is to mix in with some spices and coat chicken with. This is another farm I've definitely seen before and this is a big brisket. It's 1.2 kilos and I think this was 16 pounds so it did cost a lot but Trevor has got plans to make his own pastrami with it which I thought sounded really exciting. I also got some more mackerel. This was another substitute. I quite like the peppered one but they substituted it for the smoked. For the fruit, I got bananas, apples and oranges. The bananas, they look a little bit on the bruised side, I think. I just don't think the packaging for the bananas is, is, is great, really. I got three lots of these tomatoes. They look a bit dusty, don't they? Oh, I hope that's not flour that's burst. Three lots of these tomatoes. Um, I'm still collecting the jars on them. I have probably got enough now, but I still really like the tomatoes and I haven't grown any yet, so I think we're gonna be getting these for a while. And then I also got avocados and red onions. I also got this turmeric. Turmeric is like the trendy food at the moment. It's the, Everyone is singing its praises and its health benefits. But I got the fresh because I've only ever seen it powdered before. And I also thought I'd have a go at planting some of these and see if I could make anything come of them. And then I got a few tins. So I've got a cream of mushroom soup. My mom actually did these baked burritos and they were really, really good. And one of the layers in them was mushroom soup so I just decided to buy a, a can of mushroom soup and I've heard good things about this Amy's brand as well. Um, I had it a couple of years ago at one of the blogger conferences. Um, it's an imported one I think but it's set up by a family about their daughter so I'm not sure what the whole story is. You could probably read it on the back of the can there actually. But I'm told that's a really good soup so I'm going to try it out in this recipe. And then I got two tins of cannellini beans. I really like these Biona ones, um, but they are, I would really like to dry some of my own next year. So I'm putting together my seed list for the allotment at the moment. And I'm really looking into beans because I would like, but these are a pound a can, which is quite a lot. So I'd really like to be able to grow my own. I'm gonna look at which beans will dry best. There's some sweet potatoes. And then I think everything else is dried bits and pieces. So there's rye flour and strong, brown bread flour, oat bran to make breakfast muffins with, a couple of bags of sugar, blue dragon noodles, we haven't had these for a while and I used to buy them all the time, I do really like these noodles, I just, I don't know, I guess I got out of the habit of buying them so I bought another packet of those. Some sushi rice because I also want to do sushi on New Year's, although looking at it now it seems like I've got quite a lot of food for New Year's. And I got these porridge oats, I think they just got a bit wet in the bag there but the box is fine. And I really like these poppy crackers so I got those again. Everything is really wet but it's pouring with rain outside so when the guy was bringing the bags in everything just got wet I think. These three are my favourite snacks at the moment and I'm hoping to do some DIY videos of like make your own version of them. So I had to buy these to sample them to see if I was making it correctly, obviously. <laughs> I also got dried mangoes, macadamia nuts, and some dried cranberries. Now these chili flakes, they were a substitution for fresh chilies and we really don't need dried chili flakes. We've got loads. I wish I'd caught that one because that's not really ideal. And I also got some more chorizo, which I'm pretty sure is the last thing, again, with this extra packaging that is just empty. And all of this shopping, which is for two people for the month, um, I usually buy fresh veg each week. It comes to £86.10. and pence. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. I'll start off with one you've probably seen many times before. It's this big piece of salmon.